is. Oh, how did that get there? Wakey, wakey, Caillou. Oh, good, you're up. We need to go and see Grandma. Mommy, look, look, what is it? Hmm. Looks like a rash, Caillou. A rash? Oh, no. How did I get it? I don't know, Caillou. But we'll have to figure it out before we go and see Grandma. But why? Well, if we don't know what gave you that rash, then we can't be sure Grandma won't get it too. We need to be safe. Okay. I know. Let's think about what you did yesterday and try to work out where the rash came from. Do you remember what you did? Hmm. Well, I went to the park with Daddy. <gasps> Daddy, can I have some lemonade? Mm. We stopped to buy lemonade. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> Whoops. It was delicious. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. But I tripped and spilled it. Hmm. Maybe it was the lemonade? I don't think that's it, Caillou. You've had lemonade lots of times before. What else did you do after? Hmm. <laughs> nice to meet you. I met a friendly dog who kept licking my face. <laughs> Mommy, maybe it was the dog? There's no rash on your face. Keep thinking. Where did you go next? I just played with Teddy. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Ready for takeoff, Captain Teddy? Until he landed in a big bush. But it was okay because I rescued him. <laughs> and we flew home together with him in my t shirt. <laughs> oh, Caillou! It sounds like maybe Teddy landed in some poison ivy and then it got on your tummy. That's just the name of the plant. You'll be fine. A nice soothing bath will make you feel a lot better. All right, Caillou. Time to get out. And that's Teddy. Good as new. So can we go and see Grandma now? She won't get sick. I'm afraid not, Caillou. But why? Well, you can't go in your bathrobe, silly.
Okay, Caillou, let's take that turn to the left and head back home. Got it. Hey, Daddy, race you home. Be careful, Caillou. It's a bit bumpy over there. What? <gasps> You. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Caillou. I'm Dr. Wen. We're just going to take a quick x ray of your arm, okay? I'm afraid your arm is broken, so I'll need to be in a cast for six weeks. Six weeks? Now, I'm just wrapping some padding around your arm before we put on the plaster so it won't hurt. Now you need to hold very still until this is dry, okay, Caillou? Otherwise it won't work. Uh, it's so heavy. It feels weird. <laughs> It'll feel a bit strange for a day or two, but I'm afraid it's the only way to make sure your arm gets better. Scary. My favorites. Oh, but 
they're so slimy and... <gasps> what is that? Okay, class. This is a fire alarm, so we all have to leave the classroom. Please find your buddies. Follow Miss Shelley outside and line up in the playground. Come on, Andy. You're my buddy, remember? <gasps> Andy? Nice and steady now. Oh, Mrs. Martin, I think it's too loud for Andy. He needs his headphones. Good idea, Caillou. They're just over there by his backpack. Thank you, Caillou. Now come along. We need to go to the playground. Great job, everyone. This was just a practice, but you were all very calm and did what you were told. So well done. And now, it's recess time. Have fun. <laughs> It's recess now. Do you want to play catch? I have your special ball. Everything okay, Caillou? Me and Andy were having a lot of fun drawing, but he doesn't want to play with me anymore. Hmm. Well, you know, Andy really doesn't like loud noises. So that fire alarm was extra scary for him. Yeah, I get scared too sometimes when it's dark. It isn't nice. Exactly. Just give him some time and he'll be back to his usual self, I'm sure. Ah! <gasps> get it away! Clementine, are you okay? It's a snail! Ew! Snails are slimy and scary. Don't worry, Clementine. It's perfectly harmless. We'll move it out of the way for you now. Snail! Cool! That's right! Snails are Andy's favorite! Can you help us get the snail away from Clementine? Snails don't go on slides. Oh. Time to go home, snail. Wow, that was amazing, Andy. Yeah, you saved me. Yes, well done, Andy. That was quick thinking. See, Caillou? The alarm may have been scary and painful for Andy because of his autism, but the snail wasn't. Everyone has things they find hard to cope with, but that's okay, because we all help each other when we struggle. Yeah! Got you! Catch! <laughs> Here it comes! Caillou. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Very good, Caillou. But how about we try it for real? How about we try that police car next? <laughs> you are under arrest, mister. Oh no, Grandpa! Where are you going to take me? We're going downtown. I've got some questions for you. <laughs> Actually, uh, I'm uh, much too tired to arrest anybody today. Hop out, Caillou. Grandpa, Grandpa, what's this one? That's a garbage truck, Caillou. Come and take a look at this. Whoa! What happens to it after it's been crushed? Well, some of it goes to a big landfill, and the rest, like paper, plastic, and some metal, gets recycled. Which means it gets made into something completely new, hmm. so that it can be used again. <gasps> well, Grandpa, look! A train! Whoa, Grandpa, this tractor is so big. <laughs> This must be for really big farms. Oh, well, let's hop in, Farmer Caillou. Well, I'd say we're going to have a good harvest this year, Farmer Caillou. Yep, lots of carrots and potatoes and, and, and candy. <laughs> Candy? Wow, this must be a very special farm indeed. <laughs> Say, we'd better get you home, Farmer Caillou. Why don't you take these with you? Wow, thanks, Grandpa. I can't wait to show Mommy and Daddy. It sounds like you three are having a fun snorkeling adventure. We are. This is the best birthday ever. <laughs> oh, 
looks like it's about to get even better! Clementine? You too, Caillou. Who's up for some volleyball? Me! I got it! Caillou? Can you help me with something? Sure. Caillou, it's almost time for cake. <gasps> Would you like to bring it out to Clementine? I like that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, everyone. Are we ready? One, <laughs> two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Clementine! Wow! Thank you, everyone! is actually pretty delicious. <laughs> hey kids, how about we just go for ice cream on the way home? Yes! Yes! Great! One, two, three boxes of cookies. Done! Not quite, Caillou. Mr. Hinkle gave you five dollars for five boxes of cookies. You've only given him three. <gasps> yeah, that's not right, Caillou. Oh, sorry. So you have three. Here's four and five. <laughs> Thank you very much, Caillou and Clementine. Thanks, Mr. Hinkle. Yeah! 
Have a nice day. Wow, we already sold 10 boxes of cookies today. I wonder if we can sell 20. Or 30. Or 50. Or 100. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right, you two. There's nothing to be afraid of. These people are marching. Marching? Why? People march when they're unhappy about something big and they want to change it. They march with signs to let the people in charge know how they feel. Why are they shouting so loudly? Yeah. What are they upset about? Well, they want to get everyone's attention. This is a protest to stand up against racism. What's racism? Oh, Mommy told me. Racism is when people are mean to each other because of their skin color. Right, Mom? That's right, Clementine. See, there was a time when you two wouldn't have been able to play together just because of the colors of your skin. Really? Yes. People with darker skin like me and Clementine were not allowed to do the same things as people with lighter skin like you, Caillou. You two wouldn't have been able to swim together or ride the bus together or even eat at restaurants together. That's not fair. Lots of people agreed, Caillou. So they all marched together, just like this. And things changed and got better. So now you and Clementine can both play together and do all the same things. Oh. So marching is a good thing. It is, Clementine. Sometimes people are still mean to people with darker skin, like us. So all these people are trying to make things better. And when lots of different people all come together like this, they can change the whole world. Wow! Water! Free water! I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, hi, Caillou. Hi, Clementine. Hi, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. What are you doing with all that water? Me and my parents are passing them out to thirsty people on the march. That's so nice. Hey, you two. Should we get back to selling cookies? Well, some of the people marching look kind of hungry. Could we give them some cookies? Oh, can we? Can we? I think that's a wonderful idea. We can spare a few boxes. Water! Water! Free water! Cookies! Cookies! Free cookies! Come on, Caillou. Broccoli is good for you. I don't want broccoli. If you don't eat your vegetables, Caillou, you won't get any ice cream. Ice cream? Woohoo! Stop it, Rosie. I don't want broccoli. That's it, Caillou. Go to your room. No dessert. You're grounded. Fine. Broccoli is so gross, Teddy. I hate it. I never want to eat it ever again. Oh, hello. Hello. Can 
Caillou come out and play with us? I'm sorry, Leo. Caillou isn't allowed out today. He's been very oh. naughty, so he's grounded. Oh, Caillou mad. Okay, we'll see him another day, I guess. Hmm. Leo! Clementine! Wait there! I'll come down! No, Caillou! You'll get in trouble! doing? Caillou, I'm speaking to you. What do you think you're doing? I... I... just wanted to see my friends. You're grounded, Caillou. You were very naughty earlier. I know, but... No buts, Caillou. And you definitely shouldn't try to sneak out. What if you had gotten hurt? Or lost. We wouldn't have been there to help you. I... I... Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not allowed out today because I was bad earlier. Okay, Caillou. We'll see you another day. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get so mad. And I'm sorry for scaring you, Rosie. Caillou, mad. It's okay, Caillou. Thank you for apologizing. I'll go back to my room now. you finish your broccoli. Why? 
Oh, don't worry, Rosie. It's not what you think. Miss Rosie, we're ready for you. You'll see, Rosie. It's okay. I'll go with you. Can I? Sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Hop on right here, Miss Rosie. <laughs> Dr. Joseph will be right with you. I was scared too. I was even scared of the mask the dentist wears. But lots of people wear masks. Like this. <gasps> Cowboys and firefighters and dentists wear masks. <laughs> Rosie want too. Coming right up, Captain Rosie. Pilots wear masks too, so they can talk to their co-pilots. Can you hear me, Captain Rosie? <gasps> <laughs> See, masks just help people do their jobs. But... Ghost! <laughs> oh, sorry, Rosie. I didn't mean to laugh at you. It might look scary, but that's just a lab coat, not a ghost. <gasps> it's a dentist uniform. <laughs> Looks like you have very nice teeth, Miss <laughs> Rosie. I think that if... Uh -oh! <laughs> uh. You okay, Caillou? <laughs> <laughs> Caillou funny. Not scary, see? But you know what the best thing about the dentist is, Rosie? What? Dentists do the magic that make your teeth shine. Shine like stars. <laughs> well, hello, Rosie. Good tip. Well, Captain Rosie, you ready to blast off? Gerald, I say hello. <laughs> Good morning, Gerald. Are you excited to come home with me today? I've made you a special area in my room by my bed. It's really nice and warm, and we can play all weekend in. Gerald? <laughs> Are you still sleeping? It's time for school. Gerald? It's time to come out. <gasps> oh no! Gerald's gone! 
Gerald! Gerald! Gerald, come out! Good morning, class. Let's all take our places for the... Oh, <laughs> Caillou! <laughs> what are you doing over there? Gerald's missing! Why don't you take your seat, Caillou, and I'll explain. All right, class. As you've realized already, Gerald isn't here anymore. Where is he? Gerald was a very happy hamster, but he was also very old. So I'm afraid last night, while he was sleeping, he died. Died? Yes, but he had a very long life and loved you all very much. But it was my turn to bring him home. Don't worry, Caillou. You can just take him when he comes back. Well, Leo, I'm sorry, but Gerald won't be coming back. When someone dies, they don't come back. So I'm afraid we won't see Gerald again. <laughs> I'm sorry about Gerald, Caillou. He had a good and happy life. I know, but I'm really going to miss him. Not hungry, Caillou? Not even for some... Thanks. Can I be excused, please? Ah, of course. Mind if I join you? I'm sorry about Gerald, Caillou. I know he was your friend. But do you know what else I know? That you were his friend. You made him very happy. And neither of you will ever forget that. But I won't get to see him or play with him or... I know. But you'll always have the memories you shared. And good memories like those, well, they last forever. I think Gilbert's saying he'll play with you if you want. <laughs> Thanks, Gilbert. Today, class, you can all draw anything you want, but it has to be something that makes you really happy. I decided to draw Gerald because he was my friend. He's gone now, and we won't see him again, which is really sad. So I drew my favorite memory of him. My daddy says memories are forever, so now I'll always be able to look at this picture and remember Gerald and feel happy. Goodbye, Gerald.
Caillou, dinner's ready. Mm. <gasps> that was awesome! <laughs> mommy! Mommy! I want to learn karate! Hiya! Whoppa! Hi <laughs> Settle down, you. You might hurt yourself. Yeah! Whoppa! Yeah! Well, can I, Mommy? Please? I don't see why not. Karate! Yeah! <laughs> you look the part, Caillou. I'm so excited! Well, run along over there to the others. Class is about to start. I'll be right there. <laughs> Now, we're going to start with some basic moves today. Then, we'll try something extra special. Whoa! <laughs> First up, knee strike. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Mm. Itch. Itch. Knee. Sun. sun. Chi. chi. Great. <laughs> Next up, hmm. elbow strike. Itch. Knee. Sun, she, itch, me, sun, she. And now, karate chop. Itch, me, sun, she. Itch, me, sun, she. You okay there? Um, I can't do it. So we go from here to here. See? Oh. Hmm. Wow, you got it! Great job! <laughs> now, gather round, kids. I want to show you something. Oh. I'm going to show you how to break a piece of wood in half oh. using only your right hand. Karate chop! Wow! Cool! Oh, can we try? <laughs> well, sure! And this one's for you, Caillou, because even though you struggled at first, you worked so hard, and in the end, you got it. Oh! 